Are you trying to learn to code, but not making good progress? Or maybe you've been bouncing from tutorial to tutorial, but you still don't feel like you can build anything. Or maybe it's just been taking a long time and you're starting to wonder, wow, am I really cut out for this? If any of these describes you, you might be making one of the three biggest mistakes that beginners make when learning to code. I've spent the last decade training thousands of people just like you to be successful professional developers. That's given me the opportunity to talk to a lot of them about their coding journey, and it's helped me identify some common mistakes that people fall into that can make them less efficient or even demotivated, but either way, it's slowing down their coding journey. I'm Eric Wise from Skill Foundry, where we teach beginners to become professionals by learning to code the right way. Now let's talk about the first big mistake beginners make when learning to code. And that's not picking one language and sticking with it. A lot of people when they're starting out, they look at all the languages out there like a big buffet. And they look at some job ads and they think, wow, look at all these frameworks and skills and languages. I better get started. And then they bounce around from language to language, framework to framework, and they learn a little about a lot. And that is absolutely the wrong way to go about learning to be a professional. The best path is to pick one language and learn it well. This is going to take a lot of time. It takes 500, 600, 700 hours for most people to get to a professional competency level with one language. But if you do this, you will learn one of the most important meta skills for being a professional. And that's how to think and solve problems like a programmer. And if you bounce around, you're just never going to get there because those problem solving skills and those techniques are found beyond the beginning tutorial applications. It's when you start building substantial code. And this ties back to one of our videos on the five factors that you should be concerned with when picking your first language, because one of them is transferability, which is how easy it is to learn other languages once you learn your first one. But if you never learn the first one well, you will never gain the benefits of transferability. Now for our next beginner blunder, we enter the realm of tutorial hell. What this means is that you start learning to code and you think, oh, there's free stuff all over the place. Look at all these tutorials. I shouldn't enroll in a course or make a plan. I should just go start doing things. <laughs> now, one of the problems with tutorials is that they're often disconnected from the process of learning to code. They usually exist to show you how to do a thing not explain all the background, the whys, the hows, the whats of the thing. So a lot of times people who spend a lot of time with tutorials, they find that they can do things if you tell them exactly what to do, but without those foundations, they can't apply their skills to new problems. So this is where as a learner, you're gonna get a bit of a gut check. You see, if you're serious about learning to code, then that means you also need to be serious about having deliberate practice and building that foundation of skills that is going to let you become a professional. And there is a right way to learn to code. There is a pathway in progression through the skills that you need to land that first job. And you're not going to find that path bouncing around to random websites and tutorials. You need somebody to lay that path out for you and then you need to walk it. And this is the biggest benefit to taking online courses, boot camps, college classes, and so forth, because they will, if they're quality programs, provide you that pathway to walk. So the final mistake is underestimating the time and effort that it takes to build your skills to a professional level. There is a lot of clickbait out there. Learn this language in four hours. Learn this in 48 hours. Well, let me tell you something. Developers make a lot of money. And if you could learn to do this in four hours, developers wouldn't be making six figures. So like any skilled profession, it takes hundreds of hours to reach the minimum professional level. Now, I always like to point people to learning an instrument. 
it's very similar to that. You can watch videos and do tutorials on how to play guitar for hours and hours, but you're not going to get good at playing guitar until you put your fingers on the strings and you spend enough time playing that you build calluses and you learn your scales and you progress from simple songs to more complex techniques that are going to impress people. That is not a quick journey. And as somebody who used to own and operate a coding boot camp, I can tell you that the fastest people who learn to code, and that's in a structured environment with a mentor, they take 500 to 700 hours to get to the minimum competency level to get their first job. But what about the people who self-learn? Because it is possible to break into this field without structure, without a mentor, without paying a dime. But what people don't usually talk about is that journey is usually a one and a half to three year pathway. Because it's very hard to self-motivate and stay on track without a structured environment and without a mentor to motivate you and help you along. And going back to the mistake of not respecting the time and effort that it takes to do this right, it can actually be the root cause of the other two mistakes. You might be learning slowly, get frustrated, and think that it's the language. And now all of a sudden you're researching another language and starting over again, learning something new. Or you might just feel like you need some quick wins. So then you start bouncing into tutorials and you get that adrenaline rush of something actually working. So then you start doing more and more tutorials and now all of a sudden you've deviated from the learning path and you've ended up in tutorial hell. And this is why one of the core meta skills that software developers have is tenacity. Because when you're learning, there's some concepts that are gonna take you a couple weeks just to wrap your head around and they might take you months to master. And you need to be okay with that and stick with it and grind it out. So if you've made these mistakes before, I hope you're not in your head. And if you're in process of making these mistakes right now, I hope that this can pull you back onto the right path. And there are other mistakes that beginners can make. If you have one of those, leave them in the comments below. We're all here to learn together. If you want a sample of what learning to code the right way looks like, check out our free C-Sharp sample course, link in the description below. Happy coding.